terrorists. Hold on. Here's Terra's Daily Rant. Do you realize what's at stake here? Waking up to find out Trump was indicted. Do you realize just on this indictment alone, he faces up to 100 years in prison? And that's if he should happen to beat the New York indictment. That's 37 felonies. Again, prison for the rest of his life. But should he beat those? The good news is he's going to be tried on this one in in Miami, so we're going to hope that there's a juror who will nullify this. Only take one to say, no, I'm not doing this. Just remember, indictment ha- uh, conviction has to be unanimous. There's two more coming. Um, there is the indictment coming out of the that Blue County Fulton in Georgia. That's fake, too. Um, and they're also going to indict him again on the sedition charges uh, regarding January 6th, which is a very super fake indictment. So understand the scale of their ambition here. This isn't just we're going to hurt Trump in this election. We're gonna, no, they intend to make such an example out of him. If you ever dare to challenge us, we will put you in prison for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter if you're innocent. Innocent is not a factor. Should Ron DeSantis surge in the polls? They got a plan for him too. I did a podcast on this this week. They got a plan for him too. Right now what you're watching is a blue county in Texas um, where his staff is facing indictment for the Martha's Vineyard flights. Um, and what they're going to do is turn is try. We don't know if it'll work, but they'll try to turn the staff against DeSantis, get them um, to flip and testify against him so they can go ahead and hit him with a felony indictment too. Folks, this is the scale of their ambition. It is jaw-dropping. Just the absolute cojones it would take to do this, and they're doing it. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.